Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is our part 4 sheet mask review. I've done the part 1, 2, 3 in the past and I've added the link to those videos below in the description session and at the end of this video if you're interested. Today's video is all about Dr. Jart's sheet masks. As we all know, Korean sheet masks are famous for their incredible results and one of the most famous Korean sheet masks come from Dr. Jart. I have their entire collection of 11 sheet masks and they priced from $7 to $10 each and I've used all of them multiple times. In this video, I'm going to rank all of the 11 masks are from my least favorite to my most favorite. So if you want to find out which is my ultimate go-to mask, please stay tuned. Of course, just because I listed as my least favorite, it doesn't mean it's not good. It just means in my opinion, it's not as good as the rest of the cohort. The first mask from Dr. Jab, which is my least favorite, is this uh, V7 Brightening Mask. On their website, it is claimed to be a highly concentrated 7 vitamin complex which delivers active ingredients to the skin to instantly tone, brighten and clear blemishes. The sheet has a texture like the thin surgical gloves, so it's very easy to apply and adheres to my skin really nicely. But it didn't seem to have done anything to my skin, apart from making it a little bit more even toned. There are lots of essence in the pack, so I used the leftover for the next couple of days, but still, it didn't do much to my skin. The second mask from Dr. Ja is this firming solution from their Dermask range. It claims to firm the sagging skin with a biopeptide and power firming complex. This mask is made with a thermal sensitive gel where body heat activates the active ingredient to penetrate deeply into the skin. The sheet of this mask has a clear gel texture and there are two pieces which are supposed to make it easier to apply but I found that it's more difficult than the one piece sheet. <laughs> As for the result, I didn't find it did anything amazing except for making my skin a bit clearer temporarily. I did find it more moisturizing though, but there's no leftover essence, so I couldn't use it for the next day. The third mask from Dr. Ja is this Pro-Recting solution, again from their Dermask mask range. The sheet of this mask is black. After you put it on, it starts bubbling and white foams appear. It is claimed that the oxygen bubbling effect flushes and uh, eliminates skin impurity as it tightens and corrects the appearance of the enlarged pores. I don't have large pores, so I didn't notice much of a difference before and after, but it's a fun mask, so I use it occasionally. The fourth mask from Dr. Jart is this clearing solution, again from their Dermask range. The website claimed that it is an antibacterial and purifying mask that helps combat breakouts and reduce the appearance of scars and uneven skin tone. Well, it all sounds very nice. I found this mask to be very easy to apply and it clings to my skin really nicely, but the clearing effect is very average. Maybe I didn't have a breakout at the time I used it, but it certainly did nothing to my dark spot and discoloration. The fifth mask from Dr. Jart is this uh, Sika Pear Tiger Grass Calming Mask. Sika is actually a nickname for its scientific name, Centella Asiatica, which is what we know as tiger grass. Tiger grass is a century old ingredient to be used in Chinese medicine to treat wounds. So this mask is designed to hydrate and soothe the dry and sensitive skin, restoring it to its healthiest appearance. The scent of this mask is very light and the fiber sheet make you feel very luxurious to wear. I found this mask helped with the redness and made my skin more even toned. 
but I don't think it's very hydrating. There are a lot of essence in the pack, so you can leave it in the fridge and use it again. I believe it'll help with the sunburns if you ever need it. The sixth mouth from Dr. Jia is this uh, soothing hydro solution, again from their Dermas range. This mask is made with a fine cellulose fiber to help the ingredient penetrate deeply into the skin for ultimate hydration and to soothe redness, blemishes, and sunburns. From my experience, this mask provides instant hydration and it's very moisturizing. It left my skin very, very soft, but it didn't really even my skin tone or reduce the redness. The seventh mask from Dr. Ja is this brightening solution again from their Dermas range. This mask is made with a fine microfiber which is supposed to help ingredients penetrate deeply for ultimate brightening effect. Its powerful antioxidants are supposed to visibly brighten the skin and reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation. My personal experience with this mask, it's a very thin sheet which clings to my skin and there is uh, lots of essence in the pack but it did nothing to my dark spot or hyperpigmentation. I don't know how often you're supposed to use it to achieve what they claimed on the website. I've only used it once every week for five weeks consecutively and it absolutely did nothing. It did even my skin tone though and my skin was clearer after using it. The eighth mask from Dr. Ja is this uh, Vital Hydro Solution, again, from their Dermask range. This mask is again made with a fine cellulose fiber to help the ingredients penetrate deeply for ultimate hydration. It contains ingredients to enhance moisture retention and support natural collagen synthesis to keep skin looking and feeling hydrated and completely refreshed. I found this mask to be super moisturizing and not sticky. It also has a brightening effect which made my skin more even toned. It's also comfortable to wear and the sheet is drenched with essence. Now we are getting to my top performers. The number nine is this uh, wrinkleless solution. This mask is made with the thermal sensitive gel, which body heat activate the active ingredient to penetrate deeply into the skin. It contains a biopeptide, which restores the appearance of a healthy skin structure by supporting natural collagen elastin synthesis, which reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. The first time I used this mask, I didn't like it because it was a two piece of fit and there was no leftover essence. But after I took off the mask, I couldn't believe what I saw. All the wrinkles under my eyes, the fine wrinkles, all vanished. It reminded me of one occasion when I was walking past the Lemire counter in the department store. The sales lady came up to me, somehow identified me as a potential customer and persuaded me to try their eye cream. This is the eye cream I tried. After she applied the eye cream around my eye, within seconds, I could see the fine lines under my eyes all disappeared. And the area under my eyes all flattened out. However, the next morning when I woke up, there were so much fine lines under my eyes, they were scary. It felt like the water content under my eyes all been depleted somehow. As you can imagine, I was worried the same thing would happen again, but no, my eyes just stayed wrinkle-free and the area was just really flat for two days at least. What do you think it'll happen if I use this mask once every two days? Currently, I tend to use it before I'm going out, so yeah, it just made me look instantly years younger. The number 10 is this um, peeling solution, again, from their Dermask range. This is a bubbling two-step mask that exfoliates the skin surface and evens out the appearance of skin tone. 
The first step is to tear off the top part and wrap the content on your face after cleansing. The content is formulated with the carbonic acid powder infused with carbon dioxide which helps to deeply penetrate and clean out the pores. It also contains a blend of sugar wrap and fruit acid to gently resurface the skin and even out the complexion. When I used the exfoliating cream the first time, I hated it because it was so thick and greasy I could hardly move it around my face. But after I took off the mask, my skin tone was unbelievably even. The next day, when I was applying the foundation on, I've noticed that I could hardly tell the difference in the skin tone between the side that with the foundation and the side that without. It was incredible. Finally, my most favorite mask from Dr. Jia to date, Keramidin Facial Barrier Mask. Keramids are naturally found in our skin cells and make up about 50% of the outer layer of the skin. It helps to create a barrier to protect the skin and lock in the moisture to prevent dryness and irritation. This mask is claimed to contain five exclusive Keramids complex and a moisturizing peptide complex to provide highly enriched moisture while creating a strong skin barrier for dry and damaged skin. This mask is my dry skin rescue. It's my skin SOS. I use it whenever I feel my skin is dry and it always delivers incredible results. It makes my skin tone incredibly even and my skin feels really healthy and smooth and well hydrated for at least a couple of days. The company actually did a clinical trial with 21 women aged from 23 to 50 and 100% of them reported improved the skin texture and the relief of a dryness in the skin after two weeks of usage. And it's safe for sensitive and hypersensitive skin. That's the end of today's sheet mask review part four. I've been using the sheet mask for more than 10 years. I used to have a facial once every week. Ever since I discovered the sheet mask, there was no going back. I now can have my own facial in the comfort of my own home. And with the right type of sheet mask, I get even better result for a fraction of cost. If you find my review helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.